Yeah. All right. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, hey, I, thank I, I, you. As long as I got Richard here, I might as well give him a, a big compliment too on the Jack and Rod bit that him and Sal put together. Uh, they used uh, Ronnie's voice. Oh yeah. Yeah. Remember Ronnie? Yeah. Was, I was yelling at Ronnie the other day about how he's getting a new dog and he didn't do any research on the dog and the yeah. dog is the wrong fit for him and his family. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, they took clips of Ronnie, and they got this dog lady who's selling a book on the air and. Here's what happened. Right. And we're back with the Jack and Rod Show. I'm Rod Stiffington with my co-host, Jack Mayoffer. And today we're doing a great show. It's Pet Tuesday. That's right. And Jack, tell us who we got on the phone. We have a very, very special guest. And she says you can make a fortune with your pets. All right. Give us a brief background on, on how you can make a fortune with pets. Well, basically, the pet industry is booming like never before. We're us baby boomers. Our kids are moving out, and if your passion is birds or dogs or cats, you can make a great living at it. That's that's a great point, and actually, our guest today is starting to make a living at uh, off of his pets. Uh, Ronnie, do you want to say hi to Carol? Hey, man. Hey. How you, do how you doing? Good. Well, the thing is, Ronnie. Now, the funny thing, Carol, is that you came out with a book, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and I think Ronnie said he read it. I read the book. I fell asleep. <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry, because everybody else seems to really love it. The book's about how to gain wisdom and business of the mistakes of highly successful people. It's called Do As I Say, Not As I Did. And it'll teach Ronnie all the things that you don't want to do. I fell asleep while I was reading it. Oh, did you? Okay, well. I don't want to hear anything about it anymore. Okay, you know what? Uh, you guys have a great day. I gotta go. Bye bye. Well, hold on, Carol. Yeah. I mean, don't let Ronnie get to you. He's obviously he's a little abrasive. He's a limo driver. That's we got his mic off for now, okay. but we don't want to upset you with him. No, Ronnie, anything. you just need to relax, okay? Uh, that's all we got. We let her worry about her two little kid dogs, whatever <laughs> she's talking about. I don't care. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, I'm just laughing. I was, you know. What's her friggin' problem? I'm. I. I have no. I mean, well, Ronnie, uh, what do you know about her? I mean, wh who are you to tell her what she should do and what she should take care of? Jerk off. What do you know? I know a lot more than you. I know that she's a fucking expert in this, and there's no need for you to talk to us this asshole. way. Asshole. Fuck you. Oh, shut up, asswipe. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks for screwing me over on the air, Ronnie. Jack, calm down. Oh, shut up, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good the way you guys take those clips and turn them into like a real conversation mm. i gotta admit that's impressive it is i mean like when she starts laughing and he goes what are you laughing at yeah how do you do that do you have we, them well we kind of study them before like before we do the call we'll look at what clips we have and set up questions and uh -huh. stuff and, and you know sometimes it's not we can't find them that quick but you know, it depends on how many clips we had, because we only had, like, 15 Ronnie clips, so they were easy to find. I see. That's pretty good. The one that's on really is, is done really well, too, is that Takei Hillbilly call. Oh, yeah, that's great You know, because some one. of them don't make any sense, but very rarely. The, the, they usually make complete sense with the conversation. Yeah, a couple of the Riley ones are good, too. Yeah. 